Uh, very good afternoon to you and welcome back to West Ham Official. It's about half past 12. We are in Frankly Services. We're about halfway up uh, to Anfield. Uh, hopefully we can get up there with minimal traffic and, and see the quarter-final game. It's the match day vlog for Liverpool versus West Ham United in the Carabao Cup. Terry, how are you, mate? I'm good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Nice little jaunt. We got there quite quickly, didn't we? Yeah. Prediction tonight? <laughs> well, I'll go with what I said on the chat last night. We we'll lose three 0 We leave on seventy six minutes. Get back in time to clear Frankly service on the other side out of pasties. <laughs> and then I said two 0 to us. We've won once at Anfield in the last sixty years, but I think we went to Brighton this year, not having won there for eleven thousand four hundred twenty six <laughs> days. So miracles can happen. Let's get to Anfield. Come on, you irons! Today's offering at Frankie's Services is a nacho chili cheese toasty. And for me. Hot chocolate. Bar. <laughs> No. <laughs> We've arrived in Liverpool, it's about four o'clock. We're gonna head to the pub now, have a few drinks and get to the ground. Come on you irons. We've just left our calls for about an hour until kickoff. It was buzzing in there and the atmosphere was electric. All these West Ham fans up here buzzing for this game. Let's get in the ground. Let's get the line up and hopefully see West Ham win. Come on, you irons. Perfect seats here inside Anfield, an hour until kickoff. Come on, you irons. That lineup isn't filling me with a lot of confidence, but you never know. Let's get the kickoff. Come on, you irons, kick off. 
So far, so good. No big chances for Liverpool. Still nil nil. Twenty minutes gone. Liverpool have dominated as expected. But there's still a chance. Still nil nil. Come on, One nil Liverpool, just the inability to clear the ball, just get rid of it. It's a good goal, good finish, but Bever Armour had to clear it and he didn't. Nightmare. One nil Liverpool. Gakpo with a chance to make it two there. I probably should have scored. Lucky to still be one nil. Just get to half time. West Ham and make some subs. Liverpool 1, West Ham United 0 here at half time. Probably should be more to be honest, they should be 2 or 3 up. I just don't understand the team selection, I really don't. With all those players on the bench in a really big game, an opportunity to get to a semi final, why doesn't he start them? All they're going for now is that he brings the big boys on at half time and we can see some sort of difference and impact. But at the moment it's only going one way. Half time, Liverpool 1, West Ham 0. At the moment, no hope unless those first team players leave the bench and get onto that pitch because we've been awful. We've been awful. Come on, your eyes, let's get to the second half. It's raining, it's cold, and West Ham are going to come back in the second half. Let's go. The cat is readying to come on, finally. Follow, follow, follow. has just ran with the ball, he's put it in and it's gone out for a corner. Come on my stand. Awful, absolutely awful. 2-0 Liverpool, Curtis Jones just walked straight through on defence. And we make the sub now. Why don't you make it off time boys? Pointless, absolutely pointless. There you go, wait till 2-0 make the sub. Game over, 2-0 Liverpool. Shambles. We've had a shot. 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 The most predictable thing in football you will ever see. And that is all on boys tonight. All Scoring on boys. Number 18, Cody Gakpo. 3 0, game over properly. Just a shambles. And we departed after the fourth and unfortunately, well, very fortunately, in fact, missed the fifth goal uh, to conclude the drubbing uh, at Anfield. Well, where do I start with that? It was just pathetic from the start. The issue started when that lineup came out, didn't they? Uh, an hour before kickoff. I honestly do not know what was going through David Moyes' mind in a cup quarter final where he was quite clearly prioritising three points, maybe, 
uh, stretch against United in the Premier League on Saturday. You know, we're not going to remember a draw, a point, or maybe a tight victory uh, at home to Manchester United at the end of the season when we finish 11th or 12th. We're going to remember that cup run that we got to the the semi final if we'd have gone and been a bit seri- more, 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 more sort of serious tonight. We we would have gave them a game. I didn't think Liverpool were fantastic by any stretch. They missed a lot of chances and uh, and look, they took they took some of them, but they could have had double figures really. Some of the chances they had, which they didn't bury, uh, were criminal, and and we didn't lay a glove on them. It was just absolutely pathetic. It was embarrassing, uh, and you know we've gone in. In the last few games, we've lost to Fulham 5 0. We've shifted 5 to uh, to Liverpool. Uh, the defence, where you think Moyes would want things to be as tight as possible, is very, very not tight at the back. It's uh, it's really poor. And I think Moyes hung those players out of dry tonight. We all know those players aren't good enough. We scraped past League One Luton with that sort of side. So why on earth Moyes thought that we were going to put in a performance with that side tonight at Liverpool was. Yeah, was beyond me. But look, it is what it is. It's done now. We're on the way home. Um, so yeah, the ETA back's going to be about half past three, I think. So uh, that's all good. But yeah, thanks for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hey ho, Christmas is round the corner. Rudolph's coming round. Uh, until the next one, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. Come on, you irons. Try and keep the faith. Bye bye.